Okay, so a few of you were in class on Friday. So I'm looking to make, uh, I have to run through a quick video about the projects for assignment 9, 10, and 11. So projects 9, 10, and 11 uh, do later in March, April, and uh, so forth. Uh, these topics uh, uh, require you to watch various videos. You have to do three of them. Uh, uh, I suggest skimming through the video before you commit to them. Uh, here's some of the advanced topics that are available. Uh, things like persistence and saving data. This would be for like a high score list, object pooling, script of law objects, uh, sound effects, AI, uh, lasers, explosions, uh, hover car, sound effects, humanoid avatar, U uh, various UI tools, scene selection, main menu, uh, and navigation, which uh, we haven't talked about in class yet. Um, ideally, whatever you make in your advanced topic would be something that you'd use in your final project. Uh, these are tools that you're going to build and uh, it'd be nice if the tool were used. It's not required, but it, it's nice. Uh, these things are very different from the way we've done it in the past where you turned in the entire game folder. Uh, instead, we're going to export packages. Uh, these packages we can then import into a project, uh, into a new project. Uh, these are basically the things that you've been getting from the asset store. When you download something from the asset store, it comes as a package and you then import it. Um, uh, we we want to organize these things in a particular way. Uh, all of the tools that you build, the prefabs and the uh, uh, materials and the uh, textures and so forth should be in a single folder. Uh, uh, use your last name and the topic, so uh, fastook and underscore hover car. Uh, you don't have to move everything from your uh, game folder uh, from that your topic uses into that folder. For instance, you can leave standard assets alone if you're using the first person character uh, or, or Ethan, you can leave them in the standard assets. The export with its dependencies will pick those things up. Inside this folder, you should organize that as well. Uh, uh, scenes, materials, scripts, textures, Documentation, which I'll talk about in a minute, prefabs and so forth, each should be in an individually named subfolder within your named folder. Uh, one thing that's very important is because we're all using different versions of Unity. Uh, and when I import the package, I have to know the version of Unity that you're using. Uh, your package should be named your name, the topic you did, and whatever version of Unity, including the .3, .4, and so forth. Uh, you don't need to zip up packages. They're already a single file, and they're already completely compressed, so they should not be zipped up. Uh, it actually breaks them when, when you do. Um, as I mentioned, documentation. Uh, you're, you're going to explain to the user uh, how to set up and use whatever the tool is that you're building. Uh, this can be a readme.txt or a PDF or a Word document, any appropriate text format that has the instructions for how to use whatever the tool is that you're uh, generating. Uh, there should also be a separate one-page document that describes your experience with the live training, what it was about, what you learned, and uh, uh, the nature of the tool. Uh, you can be critical here if you did it and you found it was lame, uh, say so. Uh, 
you should have a documentation folder in your main folder with the readme that tells me how to use the tool and with the uh, experience document that tells me about your live uh, your experience with the live training uh, it, uh, a simple demo scene uh, should uh, be there that demonstrates your tool as lightweight as possible uh, don't include massive folders of assets that are not necessary uh, this should not be a big 100 megabyte thing it should be fairly uh, compact and small uh, the demo scene should be simple uh, a plane a light uh, a character and your product uh, which should be completely assembled prefab i should be able to open an empty game uh, import your package have the demo scene just work and be able to make a simple scene of my own and drop it into in, into it your prefab and with some minor fiddling that of course you would describe in detail in your documentation have it work you should do this yourself so you export the thing you've got a package open a game empty game folder import it uh, and test it to see if it all works uh, if i can't make it work the the grade's not very good uh, some examples that, that you can see for how this is set up uh, the detonator framework that we played with uh, the terrain toolkit package these are examples of how they should be set up the way to think about this is that we're making an asset that we would sell ourselves on the asset store now um, there is one gotcha uh, you can do the simple export uh, uh, the simple export is done here from assorts. Well, I'm going to highlight the folder that I want to export. Here's fastook underscore coroutines. I can do an export assets. Uh, it'll, I need to make sure that the dependencies are included. And you'll see here, these are all the things that are being exported. And it includes stuff from standard assets that I haven't included in my folder. Uh, and I can just go ahead and export that. It'll ask for a, direct, uh, a location and a name. Uh, and, and that export uh, will be fine. There is one little gotcha, though. If your asset has any custom tags, any custom layers, or if there are any build settings included in it uh, uh, so that it can transition among scenes, these will not be included since they reside in the project settings folder, which is outside the, outside the assets. The project setting folder uh, is here, project settings. Uh, and this includes stuff for the build settings and other stuff that is necessary uh, to make the, uh, uh, the game run, to make the import complete. Uh, there are two solutions to this. One, you can include a zipped up copy of your project settings folder with clear instructions in the documentation and the instructions telling me I have to copy it into the new game folder or a more sophisticated approach is to tell Unity to export the project settings along with the package. And this requires an editor script. Um, editor scripts let you modify the editor. You get to add your own menu pull down items. And in this case, we want to add one that exports your package folder. Um, uh, editor scripts must reside in a folder named editor. They're not attached to a game object, and, and unlike all our other scripts, they don't extend mono the be uh, behavior. Um, this folder that I have over here, uh, the game folder, uh, has my project on coroutines as an example. I have custom tags, the A sphere, as well as build settings for all of the scenes. A single folder, FASTA coroutines, that contains the various subfolders, materials, prefabs, scenes, and scripts. So here, 
Uh, I have documentation, I have materials, I have prefabs, I have scenes, and I have the scripts that are used in these different uh, demos that I've got here. Um, so the editor script is pretty simple. Uh, it's uh, export package, notice no uh, mono behavior here. Uh, I've made a menu item asset database export example. Uh, the static void function export example that is going to run this export has one function that it calls the export package function. Uh, the first argument is the folder that's going to be exported assets, fast of coroutines. And the second our argument is the Unity package that it's going to create, fast hook coroutines, Unity 218.4.0. The others, uh, interactive, uh, include dependencies and recurse, meaning that it'll go down the directory tree and get all the different things, uh, all the different folders inside the folder, include dependencies, it's going to pick up anything outside of that folder that it needs. Uh, interactive, I believe, means that it'll tell you when it's done. And the important one is include library assets that is going to include all of the build settings and so forth that I need. Um, so this creates this pull down menu asset database with the option export example uh, that was made by the menu item directive. Uh, and this is going to do exactly what it says here. Uh, export them uh, to the game. To the game. Um, these are the options. Again, I've already mentioned what they are. Uh, and now that this is all done, you can go ahead and uh, export them. If your asset doesn't have any custom tags, any custom input settings, any custom layers, any build settings, you can just do the simple assets export package and be done with it. But if it's like my setup here that has uh, uh, a whole bunch of scenes, uh, the menu scene that when I run this, uh, uh, I, I get to choose among the different scenes that are being played here. Uh, choose the different scenes, uh, then I have to export this with this tool that I've built here, the asset database, export example. It's now going off and exporting them. Uh, it, when it finishes here, it shows me uh, that it has exported it into my game folder. This is my game folder, and here's the export um, right here, the Unity package. This is the thing that I would test by importing into uh, uh, another game. The Unity package is what you turn in on the Blackboard uh, through the Google Drive, because these things are still fairly large, too big to email. So this is the thing that you would turn in. So uh, uh, you need to test it uh, 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 and uh, turn that in. I'll stop the sharing here. And uh, that finishes this video. So I'm going to stop recording now uh, uh, and end the meeting.